fellow crafters, Janine here, and today I'm going to be showing you some more cards that I made with the Simon Says Stamp May 2016 Card Kit of the Month. I did struggle with this card kit a little bit, not so much with the paper elements, but the stamping elements um, gave me a little bit of trouble, but I did manage to pull through and make some more cards with this kit, because um, there's a number of people in my life who um, had some some medical stuff going on and some personal stuff going on so I ended up needing to make some some thinking of you kind of cheer you up sort of cards and so I found I found inspiration in that for this card kit um, that helped me to get going with it but anyway rather than um, doing a very lengthy video of step by step of how I made these cards what I thought I would do is give something a little bit different a try and just show you the completed card and then tell you about the elements that are on the card and how I did them. Um, based, you know, giving you the um, dimensions and such. Uh, so hopefully this will be a look, we'll be able to go through more cards in a shorter amount of time. Um, and this video won't be so long and I apologize for the side noise I was grabbing my ruler because I didn't really measure all of this stuff as I went along but let's go ahead and get started all of the card bases were made from the card stock that came with the kit on this pink card I cut the uh, the eight and a half by 12 inch card stock in half lengthwise so that let me see can I get it yeah um, so that it would make a top fold cord a2 cord and then I cut um, a piece of the decorative paper that came. This is, um, oh, I don't want to lie to you now and tell you. Is it lawn fawn paper? I think it's lawn fawn. But anyway, so I cut a piece of lawn fawn paper. Uh, let's see, about three and three quarter inches by five inches. And then I cut a piece of watercolor paper, and it's Fabriano Studio watercolor paper at three inches by about four and a quarter inches. And then I used the stamp set that came with the kit. So I used the sun and the cloud, and I did cut some masks the first time that I used the, uh, the stamp kit, and I saved those masks. So actually I stamped the cloud first, then I masked it and stamped the sun. And then I used a little sentiment with the kit that said sunny days ahead. And then I used the raindrop uh, stamp and stamped it several times and then filled it in with glossy accents. Then I used the glue pen that came with the, the kit, the quickie glue pen, and I adhered some of the sequin elements that also came with the, in a little baggie, with the kit. Uh, so I adhered everything down with, um, double-sided tape uh, and then on the inside I stamped you've got this and this was from a May May made it stamp set uh, I think it was chin up buttercup was the name of that stamp set then of course I stamped all of them on the back with my handmade by Janine Rick stamp so that is card number one card number two I decided to get a little creative uh, with my ultimate tool kit uh, that I got from Crafters Companion and I made a gatefold cord. One of my little sequins fell off and I have to re-adhere that. Uh, but anyway, I just cut a piece of eight and a half inch cord stock in half horizontally and then I used my ultimate tool by Crafters Companion and scored it to make a gatefold cord. Then again from the, the paper pad I cut two strips of paper at five inches by one and three quarter inches each and again adhered those with uh, double sided tape. Then I cut two strips from the pa pattern paper and glued them together right here using the, the quickie glue pen and then I uh, just laid, just, let me see, yeah. Then I just laid it behind the card like so and just simply folded it around and creased it like that. 
and then uh, trimmed off the excess and glued it together and then adhered the, made, I basically just made a belly band and then I adhered it to a piece of watercolor card, uh, yeah, watercolor paper, again Fabriano Studio Paper and then with my Memento inks and for this one I used the um, Bahama Blue Memento ink and then with just a makeup sponge I just dabbed it onto the uh, ink pad and then I inked the edges of the paper and then I just just lightly swirled in a little bit of the blue color onto the cardstock and then I used the stamp set to stamp on the um, kite and then the sentiment thinking of you and then I just left it plain on the inside and again one of my you, this glue pen I don't know if it's going to hold these sequins all that well because that's what was holding that sequin on and it fell off so I'm going to uh, put another one on and, uh, and again just put on some of the sequins from the kit and there we have a cute little card with a belly band. I thought that was cute. This one's going to a teenager so I didn't want to make it too too frou-frou because that wouldn't be her, her personality. And then the last card is going to someone who's having surgery um, here recently from my church. And again I uh, cut a piece of the card stock in half vertically to make a top fold card. On the inside I used another stamp from a May May Made It stamp set. This is from one of her scripture sets. And it says the Lord is my strength and my song from Psalm 118 verse 14. Then again I cut a piece of the pattern paper to four inches by five and a quarter inches and then cut a piece of watercolor paper to three inches by four inches and with the same method, uh, except this time I used the dandelion. Oh, no, no, that's not right. I, I'm sorry, I used the cantaloupe by uh, Memento. And again, just used a makeup sponge to pick up some of the color, ink the edges, swirled some color on where I wanted the sun. And then again, with that Bahama blue, I just swirled on a little bit of blue in the rest of the sky area. Then I stamped on the cloud, the sun, and the uh, sunny days ahead sentiment and adhered everything except for the sequins with um, double-sided tape. And then I made a little bow with my uh, Ultimate Tool Kit and just adhered it with a glue dot. And then with the glue dots I adhered um, some more sequins that came with the kit. And so that's it. That is all three cards and how I made them. So let me know if you prefer this type of uh, card presentation, you know, for my card making. If you would prefer for me to do videos like this where I simply show you the completed card, give you the dimensions and the products that I use, or if you'd like me to go back to the old way of doing the videos where we construct the card together so you see everything that I do on camera. So I would really appreciate some feedback on that. Let me know which way you prefer, this way or the old way. Anyway, again, thank you so much for watching, and if you would like to help me bring more of this kind of content to you, there's going to be an iCord right about here um, where you can click on that and bring it to my homepage where you can make a donation to Janine's Craft Room. If not, that is okay. I am just over the moon, overjoyed, excited that you joined me for another video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and you have a very blessed day. Bye now.